Hi, my name is Megan Bradley. I am excited to be a candidate for the English teaching position for kids. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself and my background. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in health sciences and education. Um, I have three years of work experience in an orthodontic office where most of our patients were primarily children. And then I have a lot of volunteer and other work experience with children. Um, I've previously worked for an organization called Renewal House as a child care worker there. Um, just working with children of mothers who are being rehabilitated from drug addiction. So I've seen a lot of interesting um, behavioral cases there. And I've also done a lot of volunteer work with my church. Uh, I've been a Sunday school teacher for the past three years. Um, for the ages between two and four years old. And then I've also done a lot of work with an organization in Nashville called Front Porch Ministry. It's an inner city ministry um, where we just minister to the children in that neighborhood. We've helped implement a tutoring center down there, so I've been involved in that strategically. I just absolutely love working with kids and education is a huge passion of mine. I feel like I'd be a really great fit for this position. For the fable, I've decided I'd like to tell one of Aesop's classics fables, The Tortoise and the Hare. It was one of my favorites growing up. I can remember my mom telling it to me. Once upon a time, there was a hare. He was the fastest in the land. He used to brag to all the other animals about how he was so much faster. He especially used to pick on a little tortoise, calling him a slowpoke, telling him he could never catch him in a race. One day the tortoise was so sick of this that he challenged the hare to a race. All the animals gathered around and the race began. The hare took off running and he looked back at the tortoise walking and he said, How do you ever expect to win walking at that slow, slow pace? He laughed at the tortoise and decided, I am so fast, I even have time to take a nap. So he stretched out, laid down and took a nap. Now the tortoise just kept on walking and walking, and he didn't stop till he saw the finish line. All the animals started cheering so loudly that they woke the hare up, jumped up, and sprinted to the finish line, but it was too late. The tortoise had won. From that day on, the hare remembered, don't ever brag about your lightning pace, because slow and steady ends the race. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for your consideration, and I hope to hear from you soon.